now we're going to move on to uh, a slightly different kind of auction. And this is a double-sided auction, and it's often called over-the-counter trading. A double-sided auction, well, suppose you uh, just allow buyers and sellers to continually post bids to buy and offers to sell. And when we get bids to buy that are above offers to sell, that's a match. We um, take the bid and the offer and match them up, and that's a sale. And so we go ahead and mark that uh, as uh, a successful trade. One reason we might want to do this is to allow very short-term matching of supply and demand. Uh, where we have, as long as we have sufficient numbers of buyers and sellers, so suppose we have GenCos with unused capacity and buyers who need additional power. And these, these uh, surpluses of capacity and needs for additional power come throughout the day, randomly depending on uh, where different firms are located, what their needs are. Uh, then you could think about having a market where uh, bids and offers are posted. Uh, if the bid is greater than or equal to the offer, it's a deal. Otherwise, um, the participants can uh, revise their bids and offers, retract their bids and offers, wait for more bids and offers to come in. Uh, so it's a continuous process of making bids and offers in the market. Uh, Double-sided trading is like having both the supply and demand curve being presented at the same time. So it's not like a procurement auction in the sense that we're trying to buy a certain amount of electricity. We have a demand for uh, electricity that um, uh, is higher at lower prices, uh, lower at higher prices. And we have a supply of electricity from these bidders in this double auction that uh, the supply is lower at low prices and higher at high prices. So I'm going to see, we'll mark the supply curve here in red. Here's the supply of electricity. So we have suppliers in the market offering electricity for sale. And we have buyers with offers to buy at given prices. And the lower the price, the more they're willing to buy. And what we do as the auctioneer is we take any high, any uh, high offers to purchase and match them with offers to sell, and finally we get, uh, for once we close the, once we close the momentary auction, we have a price for those goods. So we have a sequence of offers and uh, offers to buy and offers to sell, and we match them up, and then, um, uh, establish a price for the for the electricity. We can have a sealed bid uniform price auction or we can have a continuous auction that's constantly taking groups of um, bids and offers and then matching them up, closing them out, and uh, receiving more bids and asks. And these auctions can be single, they can match single bids and offers in a discriminatory fashion, or they can um, bunch bids and offers in groups and then settle them up and move on to the next group. So it can be handled in a truly continuous way or in a batch of bids and asks. Uh, these are different ways one could run a short run exchange for trading at the margin.